This video is about how I recycle my pineapples. Cut up a pineapple, and we're going to use the top of this pineapple to grow another pineapple. And then we're going to sell that pineapple in order to fund us buying more pineapples. And this is like a repeat process. We'll eat the pineapple itself, and the top will sell to some unsuspecting client that comes in here to buy a pineapple tree. So here we have our pineapple. And what we're going to do, we're going to use my trusty World War II knife. This is a knife that was given to me, and it was actually carried on D-Day. So we're going to recycle that too. We're going to use it. And what we do is we carefully, so we don't cut our fingers because they grow very slowly. We're going to cut this old boy off here, like that. Okay. We're going to take this. That's what we're going to eat. And we're going to pull these little parts of the pineapple off in order to have the pineapple have a stem in here for which it will be used to grow the new roots. And these sometimes come off a little difficultly, but we'll get them. Pull them off. Pull them off all the way around, see, as best we can. And as we start up the stem, it gets a little easier to pull off. And we're going to pull a whole bunch of these off, just the like of that. Opening up the stem, so you see a nice stem there. You can hear my granddaughter crying in the background. She wants to be in here on the action, too. There, now we have a little bit of stem. Now I'm going to recycle my Manhattan bagel cup by putting this into it. Now what I want to do is I want to let this into the cup a little bit, not all the way. As you see, it's getting completely inundated. I just want this part of the stem to be wet. So the excess water will recycle that, and we'll just put it down here until we see how much we have to do. Pour some more out. And we're going to pour a little more out. A little more. We're almost there. Okay, we're right about there. Now, we just let that go just like that. And pretty soon, this will start to root out. And after it roots out, then we'll put it into potting soil. You can do this by putting it directly into potting soil. But sometimes it doesn't have the correct, the correct drainage or the right amount of air. And sometimes they rot off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let this grow new roots right out of the stem that's showing right here. And after it grows new roots, and then we'll put it into the potting soil. This should take a couple of weeks. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark this water line right in here with a pen so that we continually have the water at the, the correct level and the same level because water will evaporate. So we're going to put this down and now we're going to mark the water level. Look at that. I should have been an artist. Well, I am an artist of such, such types. There we are, just like that. Now we know where the water belongs. We put it right up here and we let her go to town and do its thing and we clean up this. This mess will be thrown out, and this will be eaten. These cost me, what, two for five dollars, Mark? Yeah, two for five dollars. And I'll sell this for ten dollars. So I'll get for each one of these I eat, I get two more after I sell it. Yes, and you can get them at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We have all kinds of trees and shrubs. And if you just look around in this little room here, you can see we root and grow lots of little plants. And we also grow big trees out in the field. Again, call us at 215 Six five one eight three two nine. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. Thank you. Can I get better, please? Thank you for visiting Highland Hill Farm in Bucks County, PA. These are native elderberries that we're growing here at Highland Hill Farm. We grow these elderberries, which are native, and some cultivars, which we also offer for sale.